Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Y'all know what time it is. It is Tell the Truth Tuesday. And y'all gonna stop playing with me. I am so over um, whatever this is. Like, not over it in the sense that I'm ready to come out and be infected. But y'all gonna stop playing. I, no, I'm a, no, I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying I'm over, you know, people getting anxious about it. It's, it is what it is. What am I saying? It's Tell the Truth Tuesday. And y'all gonna stop playing with me. I have been listening to the retelling of history, the retelling of truth. I've been listening to politicians, artists, um, so-called celebrities, um, so-called thought leaders. Just, you know, just share and, and reimagine and, and retell, rather, you know, things that are facts. And it's blowing me away because it's made me take a look at myself. No, I'm going to say it. I'm going to use myself tonight. Is what I'm saying. What am I saying? On this Tell the Truth Tuesday, I want to talk about reimagining. Because, like, oftentimes we give certain people authority. Like, we, we might not call it authority, but we believe them. Like, we believe them. We respect them. We 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 look to them. We go, you know what? That person is spot on. And, and what they say got to be got to be true. They wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Um, Prime example, you know, we've had an entire, you know president who boasted that this would be over in the summer that this this is four going into five months march april may june july we're coming into five months of this thing and we were told that it would be over and you know usually when you're when the head of your country tell you some stuff you typically you know you you see some merit you might not believe it all what am i saying i'm gonna I'm unpack it in a second let me just back up i should have never used him he's the worst example ever what am i saying I'm saying that a lot of us have fallen into this whole thing of really taking in what people that we look to, we take it in and we believe it. Um, we've watched people that that are Grammy nominated, that are Oscar nominated, Emmy nominated, Emmy award winning, um, we Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize winners. Like there have been some really credible people who right in front of us have melted the fuck down in this pandemic i mean literally between george floyd brianna taylor ahmaud arbery and all of the atrocities on top of a global pandemic we have seen people that we love as artists and as thought leaders we've seen them melt the fuck down I, I gotta i'm not judging this is just what we've seen listen we've seen people literally go eight yet because so I, I i just I wish there was a way that I could just be the whiz and bring back Dr. Donda West. Because her son right in front of us is melting down. I mean, number one, we've loved him as an artist, but we have watched him melt down since his mother made her transition. And maybe it was always in the works, but it's so glaring right now. And we imagined him to be, you know, just this really gifted artist because he kept cranking out all this amazing content, right? And then... We should have seen that something wasn't right when he married a home movie porn star. I, I, I'm not making this up. She got famous for having sex with Ray J. Didn't bring nothing to the culture dynamic. Didn't bring nothing to the space of academics or education or self-concept or self-esteem. She literally got famous for being on her goddamn knees. And she wasn't praying. What am I saying? Y'all started keeping up with him. Keeping up with the damn... I don't even going to say the, the damn dashes. The dashes. And because you started to look to her as some sort of authority or truth teller, you know, you, 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 you couldn't imagine that it would get to a place where he, literally this man would marry... He promised Mr. Rainey he was going to marry his daughter. Don't nobody know that lyric from his very first album. He said, I promised Mr. Rainey I'm going to marry your daughter. He ain't married Mr. Rainey's daughter. He married uh, Christopher Jenner. That woman, Chris, it don't matter. He married her. And I'm, and I'm being facetious, but what I'm saying is this. We've had to see people for who and what they really are. And it's frightening for some people. It's frightening because we've put spiritual leaders, we've put politicians, we've put celebrities, we've put academic academicians, we've put so many people on pedestals. We put doctors. I mean, 
people have been put on pedestals and in constructs and when you find them to not be on point or well y'all lose it y'all be like i can't i can't believe they was entangled and detangled and dangling participles y'all I mean, y'all get so caught up and you can't even begin to reimagine them and it comes from a space, I believe, of us not being able to reimagine our goddamn selves. Is it just me or have you ever been in relationship or in connection with somebody and you saw them a certain way for so many years? Like, you saw them as this, whatever this was for you. And then as life showed up and, and, and real life started showing up, you saw how they reacted and moved in real life situations and you realized that they was a fuck boy. You realize that person was not what they espoused, right? And it's no, it's no condemnation. It simply says, be okay, not being okay. We're watching Mr. West unravel in front of us. And instead of us praying for him and asking for help for him, we're judging and some are laughing at him. I can't. Mental illness is real. He, is, he has been diagnosed, from my understanding, as a bipolar disorder. He suffers from bipolar disorder. That's a real medical. It's mental health. Because we don't give that any credibility, especially in our community. You know, we're being like, oh, there she go again, crying, sitting over there and behind the birthday cake, crying. There she go, melting down. That's not something to just say. When you see Auntie crying for nothing... In your minds, ain't nobody beat her with a stick, ain't nobody hurt her with nothing. That's mental health, screaming out, help! But you imagined her to be a certain way all these years. And then when life has shown up, she might not have been able to pivot or stick and move. And now you need to reimagine her without diminishing your love for that person. I think I'm saying something, but ain't nobody talking back to me. Well, number one, they can't, but I'm just saying. I, I, I am learning from my own experiences. People, institutions, faith-based leaders, politicians, I've imagined them to be a certain way. And I heard it said earlier, you know, it's best not to get too close to your heroes. Because <laughs> you will discover that they are just humans with frailties and imperfections. And some of us can't handle reimagining them. So let me use myself as an example. Because I'm going to tell the truth because y'all going to stop playing with me. I thought I knew what relationship was. I thought I knew what friendship was. I thought I knew what parenting was. I thought I knew what being a business owner was. I thought I knew what being an artist was. And then all of those things got cha shaken up like I was shooting dice. I was trying like I was shooting dice. All that stuff got shaken up. When you parent in little children, it's pretty basic. I mean, stuff shows up, but basically you feed them, you clothe them, you protect them. And it's pretty, I, I heard it said from an elder, when children are small, they're heavy on your hands. When they're older, they're heavy on your heart. And I'm watching that play out. So I thought that I had this parenting, mothering thing down back. And then I'm watching life show up and then I have to shift and reimagine what parenting is. And the truth of it is, I have to do that because what I don't want to do is put a terrorist out there in the world. Because no one was honest or lovingly truthful and helped them pivot and reimagine in their development. What am I saying? Y'all ain't talking back to me. You know some of your kids are assholes, but you won't even be lovingly truthful with them. And they go out here in the world and nobody, they don't give zero fucks about your kid. And your kid gets swallowed up because you couldn't help them reimagine themselves. What am I saying? I thought I knew about relationship. Decades in a relationship. And I had ideas like you have to be a vegan. You have to be saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. You have to know God, believe in God, pray. And I still believe in that. I still believe you have to know God and have a relationship and, and, and pray. Um, that you had to, um, that is a beneficial if you have direct deposit, if you have a couple of degrees, be one, or you got some credits. No, it really was degrees that you could conjugate a verb in a couple languages, you could speak Ebonics. I mean, I had some checklists. No, ain't nobody gonna talk back to me on this one. And then life shows up, and you realize you could have all of those tags and asterisks and ellipses behind your name and be an asshole and not be kind. 
and 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 it's only because this was always a part of who you were and you were i don't know you found a way to deconstruct it and then life showed up and all of those things came up to the surface and now you're stuck do you stay and hope and pray that that person that you created in your mind's eye resurfaces or do you see them for really what it is and reimagine your life do you put yourself in a position where you can get the fuck out of there before you end up in central book and i can't get no help in this car what am i saying you have to look at yourself and see yourself i see myself this is the first time in the history of me being a performance artist five months i'm an artist i'm a stand-up i have to be on stage, it's reciprocal. You give and you get. I'm sitting in front of computers now, hoping that somebody on the other side of the screen will find me entertaining. I can't get nobody to hear what I'm saying. I am reimagining what stand up is like. I ain't even standing up, I'm sitting down in a chair looking at a computer screen. It is it's humbling. But at the same time, it's such a beautiful moment to teach you your character and who and who you are. Are you who you say you are? And if you're not, reimagine that thing, baby sis. Big bruh, if you're not who you say you are, reimagine it, shift, pivot. You can always get better. If a behavior no longer serves you, then unlearn it. God, I think I said something. Unlearn it. What am I saying? All I'm saying is this. Stop putting people institutions politicians stop putting them on pedestals allow them to mess up allow them to make mistakes allow yourself to mess up allow yourself to make mistakes i used to believe that all my girlfriends we were on the same page like okay we're gonna do this we do that we rock out like this we all support each other all that's not true i'm gonna need you to hold me accountable i'm gonna need you to, to check me i'm gonna need you to not always agree with me. That's bullshit. Huh? Now, some people like people that always just say, oh, you're amazing. You're awesome. You're amazing. I don't need that. I can't grow like that. So I had to reimagine what real sisterhood and friendship look like. And some people can't operate in that. They just want you to be like, you're awesome. You're amazing. That ain't my testimony. What am I saying? All I'm going to say to y'all is this. What this pandemic and this social unrest and social injustice has shown me is that I have a lot of growing to do. I have got to, I had to learn how to reimagine how to even be an artist virtually. How to be a mother to teenagers and college students. How to, to move on beyond relationship constructs and believe God. Listen, you ain't got to be a vegan to be with me. You ain't got to be speaking in tongues to be with me. You got to be a good, decent human being that loves God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You got to love God, love yourself, love your family, treat your family well, treat me well, work hard, and be teachable. And I don't give a rat says if you're 50, 40, 30, I ain't doing 23. I can't, I can't get entangled. All I'm saying is this. A lot of those things I thought I knew for sure I had to reimagine. So y'all gonna stop playing with me. I had to reimagine and I'm too grown and too grateful and because of y'all I'm still here working virtually thank y'all for dropping that somebody gonna drop three dollars and 79 cents in my cash app I feel it in my spirit I have reimagined that that my cash app gonna go ding 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 I and the I eat a letter M y'all gonna stop playing with me I'm too grown and too grateful don't be afraid to reimagine this is how John Lennon said that I'm gonna go you may say that I'm a dreamer but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you will join us and the world will live as one. I was flat to the mother. The point I'm making is the book of Earth, Wind, and Fire said, imagine my heart with you. See what imagination can do. I dare you. Y'all gonna stop playing with me. I'm too grown and I'm too grateful. Just tell the truth Tuesday.